so let's continue with some of the remaining challenges in this lecture so we are up to this challenge number six and now it's time to just solve this challenge seven so let's see this function what this function is doing so it is clearly a javascript function and it is saying us something like just pass dog cat bird and mouse so if you just pass here it is showing up to yamo so after yamo it is invisible over here that means title can only contain 12 character so this is made in a such way that this title can only take only basically 12 character so if you want to do something like svg which was our svg vector and unload and if you want to pass the alert message of maybe one here and if you just close this it is not valid because if you see here in this title only up to unload is loaded after that it is invisible that means it will only allow 12 character so this payload is not valid in this context so we have to do something else so we have given some hint over here so if you see if i just pass dog and if i put has then it is just going to the next line so if i just now put cat so cat is in the next title and if i just put has again and put bird then the bird is in the next title that means it is in the next line so we can take advantage of this has in order to make our complete payload so our payload would be svg obviously and after that you can just pass something like a this is a normal attribute so you can pass anything over here so i'll just pass that is equal and now has because i want the next line to be uh, in the next line because the next part what we just write here will be in the next line so now i'll just pass first of all the unload method so i'll just say unload and in this unload you have to first of all make the payload first and now i have to again make has that is for the next line and now i'll just grim prompt or basically you can also give the alert message and if i just close this which was the unload is been closed and now if you just run this if i just hit enter nothing is happening because this part is not prompted that means we have to just make use of escape character to encode this so i'll just put here escape character and basically i have to also put this asterisk and the same over here because this is the way to comment so if you just see here it has been commented now that means this part has been commented because anything after this unload is useless because we don't want this whole part to be included on payload because if i just run my sublime and show you what the payload look like so here our simple payload will be svg and it would be slash a which would be any attribute and we'll have unload method and in this unload you'll simply call your prompt so it should be prompt of one so this will be your complete payload but if you see here that anything after this uh, equal sign has to be neglected so anything after this equal sign is this much part so this much part should be neglected the uh, basically what is selected over here so this much part should be neglected because this is not the part of the payload so we put here comment sign you can see here the comment sign will just neglect this part and will make our complete payload to be executable so again if i just execute this and it is again not working let's see why it is not working because we have to see where this payload is injected so let me just copy this first and remove and let me say first hello and let's see where this is reflected so i'll just say control u control f and hello and it is not reflected here so let's see where the script is reflected so basically it is reflected over here 
so it is reflected in the title that means we have to customize our payload because this SVG vector cannot be included inside this title so we have to first close the title so in order to close the title you have to first close this title attribute and p class or p attribute after that so this is our prompt or this is our complete payload so you can see it is giving us a prompt saying you win or you won so we have made this advanced payload over here so it was basically the simple unload but this title has allowed only the 14 character that means we have to just customize the payload and you know that the vector should be included outside of the HTML tag so we first of all close the attribute of the title and after we just closed that we just close the p attribute or p tag of the HTML and we'll just launch our SVG tag or SVG vector over here so this is some of the technique in order to just customize your payload so now let's see for the next challenge that is challenge number eight so let's see this function here uh, it is saying prevent input from getting out of the comment strip of line break and stop so it is basically uh, replacing some of these uh, characters over here and it is returning the one that is basically in the single quote over here and it is just consoling us the input so let's see we have the two challenges to be solved in this level so first challenge would be to use the valid javascript line separator so if you just remember we have something like a line separator that is slash n and it can be also slash r line separator so these are the line separator that is slash r and next one would be slash n but if you see here this is not valid so anything you write is a slash n and slash r has been included into the console log because it is been replaced so we need to find the alternative way to comment out our code because commenting with this is basically inside here so we have to now do two challenges so first challenges would be to make use of the line separator by not this code instead you have to make use of other code and the next way is to comment out the code so let's see how this can be done so if you just uh, have any knowledge about the line separator there is a utf code for that so for utf for the line separator will be u and you have to give plus 2028 so this is the line separator code or a character that will return uh, some is basically inside the console log so let's see how this works so if i just pass here u and add is and just 2028 and if i just close this down so first of all it should be here so this is your your line separator so line separator utf code so you can simply inject something like so let me show you a quick example here so if i just make a script and now if i say that console and dot log and here I'll just prompt me one and close this and after you just close this one and close your script so you could see something happening over here so it has replaced some of the characters like a line space and something like that but you can see the console log is just printed out here so we have to make use of the challenges that is uh, to make use of a utf coding or basically the line separator so let's make our 12 or basically 14 length character payload over here so first of all you have to give your line separator which is this code after that you have to make use of the prompt and give the one and again you have to just close this line separator because we want something out of this part so to add that is same code over here so we made use of this now if you just see this is inside the comment so we have to first of all close the comment so closing the comment in HTML is with this code if I hit enter now so it is not working maybe we have made okay let me see it is in the console log okay let me just 
make this as alert and let's see what happens so it is not working okay this is let me just put here and let's see and again it is not working so maybe let's put this commenting and let's see and this is not working maybe due to the line separator or the browser incompatibility so let's give rid of this and let's see for the challenge so we'll just work with that in the later section so here we just pass hello and it was reflected right at this script that means and this is challenge a so if i just give something like prompt and one then it is saying okay you are getting this so that means it is inside here so whatever you write here was reflected right at the middle of the script so we'll work with the other challenges in the upcoming lecture but of you can also go through this link which is the github link over here so you will get access to this link in the resource section you can just check this out and you can get the description everything about the access vector uh, just make sure you just give this a go because these challenges are really advanced challenges and if you have the documentation like this which has the labels information code and the solutions and it has also the background info which is very useful so make sure you go through it and you will see everything the solution over here even the hidden challenges so you can just check this out and i'll just see you in the next one